Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What is your shadow work for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021? So Capricorn, I am doing something new, completely different. I hope you guys like it. So we are going to take a look at your shadow side, what your shadow work is. So I am going to do that by first drawing Oracle, and then I will use a separate deck to clarify. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I'm doing something completely new. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you want me to use more Oracle cards uh, moving forward in my readings. Uh, also, let me know if you enjoyed this reading. Let me know if you want me to do more of these, how I could improve on it. Uh, also, if this uh, message resonated, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this with someone, like this video. Also, uh, ring the notification bell, hit the subscription button. Um, and those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. So Capricorn, you could apply this reading to yourself or someone that you're dealing with or both or multiple people. Just apply it to your own unique situation. So, um, so let's get started. All right. All right. What is Capricorn's shadow work? What is her shadow side that they need to work on for September 2021? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Capricorn. So we all have our sh we all have shadow sides that we need to work on. So it's a part of ourselves that is, it's called shadow for it, a reason, it's hidden. Uh, sometimes people are not aware of it until, you know, we get triggered uh, by something. And a lot of this stuff could be from our parents. You know, it could be trauma, karma passed on from our parents, you know, our grandparents, generational and ancestral. So let's see what we have here. So we have uh, opportunity beckons. So this is like the Four of Cups. Let's see what else we have here. All right, we have Believe and Succeed. Six of Wands here. We have the, we have Challenging Times, which is the Five of Wands. So we have a lot of purple here. That's telling me there are, there's something going on with your uh, crown, not your crown, your third eye chakra, because that's purple. Right? Yeah, it's purple. All right. Um, rebuild. So this is like the tower, Aries Scorpio energy. Hmm. Mm. This is interesting. So speaking of shadow side, look at this. 18, confront. So this is like the moon card, Cancer Pisces energy. Okay, so Capricorn, I'm feeling like someone, someone's ego is getting involved here. The ego is... Basically, an energy that resists a lot of change is the resistor. This this is an energy that sort of like destroys and ruins and self-sabotages because when we're coming from a place of our intuition, you know, it's free-flowing, it's easy, it's not difficult. But I'm feeling like there's a resistance to allow change to happen here, um, Capricorn. I feel like there's a side of you that you don't want to confront. And whatever the side of you that you don't want to confront, it's actually really painful because this is like the nine of wands. Uh, this is an energy where, you know, there's a lot of trauma involved here. A lot of trauma that sort of like messed with you, sort of messed with you in your head in a way. You know what I mean? So let's see. Give me two for believe and succeed. Give me two for believe and succeed. One more. Okay. Okay, we have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. So Capricorn, there you are right here. Uh, the devil. Okay. 
I'm feeling that I'm feeling like there's this energy of feeling very, very, very tired. Very, very tired. I feel like you feel way down. I feel like you feel bogged down. I feel like there is this energy of your ancestors and your family that has passed that's coming forward that's trying to shake you at this point. Trying to shake you so that there is work, so that the work could be done to heal from this trauma. Because I feel like there's a pattern of basically not succeeding in things. You know, because I feel like every time this falls down, something crumbles, it never gets rebuilt again. It's sort of like left behind. So I feel like when you go through these traumatic experiences, these tra traumatic experiences are never really spoken of or like someone who never really deals with them. Because the point of the tower is for is to let it fall and to rebuild it again. But someone here is resisting the change. I mean, because when the tower falls, there is a major change that's happening. Instead of actually accepting the change gracefully, we have someone here challenging it. We have someone challenging it. That is actually blocking your opportunities in life. Could be in love, could be in career, relationships, uh, you know, hobbies. It could be anything. Why is challenging times here? Tell me about challenging times. Give me two for challenging times. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So Capricorn, there you are again. Uh, Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ace of Swords. I just feel like someone here is very emotionally closed off and I feel like someone here puts on this mask by being mean and aggressive and just like in this like really 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 combative energy almost very adversarial like like if someone here is actually trying to pick a fight Tell me about rebuild. Give me two for a rebuild. I mean, when you don't accept this change gracefully, uh, you hinder your growth and your evolution. So Capricorn, like I said, you could apply this to you or someone that you know. Why is rebuild here? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Give me one more. Why is the ten, why is rebuilt here? Rebuild it. So we have this on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords here. You have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So Cancer Scorpio. So I'm feeling like someone here has some wounded inner. Someone here has a very, 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 very wounded inner child here and I feel like someone just doesn't really handle change really well and I feel like once when, when these change comes in I, I, I feel like someone here is, uh, is losing their mind over it uh, completely losing their marbles completely losing their marbles It's time, it's, it's, I feel like it's time to confront your pain here too. This is really important for your healing. It's time to confront your pain because I feel like someone here is avoiding it. Because I feel like someone here feels like if someone mentions something here, like it feels like an attack. It feels like an attack. 
So Capricorn, I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also leave a comment to let me know if you like this reading, how I could improve it, if you like me to use more Oracle in my readings, and also like this video, subscribe, ring the notification bell, also share it um, if you know that someone that needs to hear this, okay? Uh, so Capricorn, I'll speak to you in the next one. Thanks.